me. It may not surprise you to learn that my pathway to the joy of the Lord is music. Both my family and my late husband's family were musical for generations. So our daughter did not really stand a genetic chance. Happily, music has surrounded me all my life. Recently, I read that music and painting are subcutaneous arts because they get under your skin. But both, given a lifetime, can go much deeper. Although I was classically trained, I never wanted to restrict myself to one genre. I love jazz, Appalachian folk, rock, old Broadway songs, bluegrass, chamber music, hymns, and great choral music. Early in the pandemic, someone said to me, you are so lucky that you can play the piano. And I certainly am, and I did, and I do. I also have an Appalachian dulcimer, a guitar, several sizes of recorders, my voice, many wonderful recordings, and in case I get bored, a small steel drum. The piano and my voice have clocked the most mileage during the pandemic. All my life, I have loved making music alone or in a group. I love listening to music too and finding brand new music and musicians. One of the great benefits of music is you cannot live long enough to learn it all. There are always wonderful surprises. I believe that the Bible tells us to sing to the Lord, make a joyful noise and praise Him on any instrument you can for real purpose. Singing particularly is a gift because it involves both hemispheres of the brain, words on the left and tunes on the right. So the only time you're in your right mind is when you are singing. Unfortunately, we will be restricted to virtual singing for a while because we can't share the moisture in our mouths. However, we can certainly sing in the shower and few critics are found there. Music can truly be a form of prayer. Often when I'm making music, my heart and mind are open to God and I feel His presence. Here is an anthem of praise and joy from the Liturgy of Easter Vigil. Rejoice now, heavenly hosts and choirs of angels, and let your trumpet shout salvation for the victory of our mighty King. Rejoice and sing now, all the round earth, bright with a glorious splendor, for darkness has been vanquished by our eternal King. Rejoice and be glad, Mother Church, and let your holy courts in radiant light resound with the praises of your people. Would you sing and hum along with me? Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to their sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Know that you are loved this day and every day. I'm Carolyn Roberts and I approve this message.